Hey everyone, and today I'll be covering the best VPNs for your Amazon Fire Stick in 2025. Now, if you've ever tried streaming on your Fire Stick only to run into geo blocks or limited libraries, you know how frustrating it can be. But with the right VPN, you can not only access shows and movies from around the world, but also keep your connection private and secure at the same time. And here's the good news, apps like ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark all work directly on the Fire Stick, as long as you're using the second generation or newer. So whether you want to watch Hulu in the US, stream friends on UK Netflix, or just protect your activity on public Wi-Fi, these VPNs make it really simple to do that. I'll break down the setup process, the key features, and ultimately which one might be the best fit depending on your needs. And just as a quick note, any discount links or coupons I can find will be down in the description if you'd like to check those out. So let's start with how easy it is to get a VPN set up on your Fire Stick. I'll use ExpressVPN as an example, but NordVPN and Surfshark follow the exact same process. All you have to do is open the Amazon App Store right on your Fire Stick, search for ExpressVPN, and download the app. Once it's installed, you'll log in either by entering your details with the remote or by scanning a QR code with your phone, which is usually quicker. From there, you'll see a simple interface with a big on-off button. Just choose a server location from the list, click connect, and that's it. You're protected and ready to start streaming. And the nice thing here is that the apps are designed for TV use, so you're not stuck with something clunky or confusing to navigate with a remote. It's about as straightforward as it gets. Now, once you're inside ExpressVPN, you'll notice it's built to be very simple, you get the on-off switch, the server list, and a handful of useful settings. For example, there's a threat manager that blocks trackers, ads, and malicious sites. You also get a network protection option, which works as a kill switch to make sure nothing leaks if the VPN disconnects. And for flexibility, Express includes split tunneling, so you can choose which apps run through the VPN and which ones don't. Protocol-wise, the app will automatically pick the best one for you, but you can also switch to their lightweight protocol, which usually gives the fastest speeds for streaming. Recently, they've also added the WireGuard protocol, which is also excellent in providing stable and fast speeds. In my testing, it only drops speeds by about 18% which is very good for 4K video playback. And when it comes to privacy, ExpressVPN is one of the few services that's been independently audited multiple times, and even proven in a real-world case not to store logs. So you're not just taking their word for it, you actually have proof that your activity stays private. And with ExpressVPN, you can connect at least 10 devices and up to 14 devices on a single subscription, depending on the plan you choose. So it can easily cover not just your Fire Stick, but all the other devices such as phones, laptops, tablets, and even your internet router. Now, moving on to NordVPN, this one is an excellent choice if speed and extra features are at the top of your list. Nord uses its own Nordlinks protocol, which consistently delivers some of the fastest performance I've seen, usually only about a 3% speed drop. That makes it ideal for streaming in 4K or even gaming on your Fire Stick without lag. NordVPN also has the largest server network of the three, with over 7,800 servers in 160 plus countries. That variety is a huge plus, because if one server gets blocked by Netflix or Hulu, you can simply switch to another and be back up in seconds. Feature-wise, Nord goes beyond the basics. There's threat protection, which blocks ads and malware while you browse, and obfuscated servers, which are designed to bypass censorship in restricted regions. And you can connect up to 10 devices at once, which is generous compared to many other VPNs. So overall, NordVPN is perfect if you want a really fast and feature-rich VPN that goes beyond just streaming region-restricted shows. And then there's Surfshark, which is easily the best choice if you're looking for something budget-friendly without giving up performance. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, and their Everlink technology helps maintain stable connections, which is great for consistent streaming. One of the biggest selling points here is that Surfshark lets you connect unlimited devices on a single subscription. That's a great bonus for families or anyone who wants to cover every phone, laptop, and TV in the house without worrying about limits. Feature-wise, Surfshark includes clean web for ad and malware blocking, no borders mode for working in restricted regions, and multi-hop, which routes your connection through two servers for an extra layer of privacy. If you want the fastest speeds, I'd recommend using their WireGuard protocol, which works really well on Fire Stick. So while it's the most affordable of the three, Surfshark still gives you premium level features, making it a really strong option if cost is a factor. Now to recap, ExpressVPN is the best choice if you want the most consistent performance and the easiest setup. NordVPN is the one to go for if you want top speeds and advanced features. 
And Surfshark is the best pick if you're after a budget-friendly VPN that still lets you connect unlimited devices. All three will let you access global streaming content on your Fire Stick while keeping your connection private and secure. So it really just comes down to which strengths matter most to you. So hopefully you found this review helpful, and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, just drop those down in the comments below, as I love getting to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.